Major Music. What up? Coming back at y'all with another video. If this is your first time here on this channel, I like to talk all things music production. Um, sometimes touching on topics like we're going to talk about today. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button if you're interested in these types of topics. Also, the Major Music Lounge podcast, which you can listen to new episodes here on this channel, as well as all podcast streaming platforms. If you're a music producer that also creates content, or maybe you're a music producer that has placements, whether that's like with a major artist, as well as within like the film or television space, and generally speaking, if you like to talk about music production, we'd love to have you on the show as well. And you can follow me on Instagram at d dot underscore major music. Actually, the same thing on TikTok. And then you can follow me on Twitter at d dot mme. So this video is going to be about the recent changes that TuneCore has made to their operating model. So I've released music on TuneCore. Uh, I started releasing music back in 2011, and pretty much from then until like. A couple of days ago really um, they ran this model where it was like $49 to release a single album per year and then it was like $9.99 I believe to release just a single by itself and at TuneCore they'd offer some pretty good things like the publishing administration and other artist services that they have available for artists on TuneCore so and when you look at paying $49 to release one project a year in comparison to like a distro kid for example who at the base plan that they have 20 bucks you can release unlimited projects per year um, and then you know as you go up they also have different tiers like you can set release dates or you may have more promotional tools available with other plans that they offer so um, there's also a lot of great things to like about DistroKid. In fact, that's what I mainly use now to release a lot of my albums, uh, DistroKid. And for those of you that might be a new artist or maybe a new producer, and you don't know much about releasing music, what happens is once you're done with your project, you may go to a TuneCore, for example, or you may go to a DistroKid, and you upload your music to one of those websites. And what they do is they distribute it to like Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, and so on and so forth. So that's kind of how music distribution works. And um, I mean, before then, you also had other sites like I've never used United Masters, but I know some people that do. Um, even BeatStars has music distribution. So a lot of other um, music distribution companies were coming up and offering similar services for less So I just really wanted to take some time so we can look at some of the plans that are available for TuneCore And you know kind of see what you're getting uh, for each of them. All right, so I'm actually looking right here on my iPad So they have three plans very similar once again to like DistroKid for example you got the rising artists plan which is $14.99 a year and with the rising artist plan that allows you to release unlimited music to 150 plus digital stores and then you got also the breakout artist plan um, this one allows you to release unlimited music and then you're gonna have some advanced features uh, let's see what that looks like real quick so it looks like you get this um, TuneCore social unlocks unlimited posting and more data and reporting so basically I'm assuming with the base plan um, the rising artist plan that you probably don't get to see like your stats as far as how many streams you got or how many sales you got on the platform um, that's gonna be one of the differences between the rising artist and breakout plan and then let's see with professional. Now professional is going to be $49.99 a year. And let's check that one out. Ah, right, so the professional plan is basically the breakout artist plan, but it's going to be more so if you have like a label or multiple artists that are gonna be releasing uh, music maybe together. Um, so that's really like the breakout plan. If you're a solo artist, it would probably be ideal for most people. Um, it reminds me of actually the plan that I have with DistroKid uh, for the same price, in fact. Uh, now, I've, again, released music on both platforms. I haven't actually released on TuneCore in quite some time. 
because of the pricing differences between like what they were offering compared to DistroKid. But now that's changed. I can release music either through DistroKid or BeatStars. I also have BeatStars distribution as well. So even though I have like distribution plans with BeatStars as well as DistroKid, I may end up checking out one of the TuneCore plans, maybe possibly like the Rising Artist plan because, you know, Breakout Artist plan, that's again similar to what I have, but I may just go ahead and check it out for once. I do have the publishing administration uh, with TuneCore. And actually, I went down a little further. So they do have this chart on their website which breaks down all of the differentiators to what each plan is. So there's, there's even a free plan that you can sign up for, but it's very limited. And then one of the other things that really stand out to me when I'm looking at this page is with each of the different tiers, the customer service response time goes down lower. So like with the free plan, you would have to wait five business days. With the rising artist plan, you'd have to wait 72 hours. With the breakout artist plan, you'd have to wait 48 hours. And with the professional plan, you'd have to wait 24 hours. So uh, pretty much the higher the tier, of the distribution plan that you have, the uh, less time you have to wait for customer service. And they have some other perks included like with the um, other two top tiers like the cover art creator. I think that's pretty dope. Yeah, you can go through and check it out. So what are my thoughts? I applaud TuneCore for changing their business model. Um, $50 in today's uh, market is pretty steep to distribute just a single album compared to a lot of the other distribution companies as I said earlier and um, I think now that more and more people might go back to uh, TuneCore I know some people that ended up leaving TuneCore for the same reasons because they wanted to put out more music and you know you could possibly take some of that $49 like I don't know if you release let's say you release one album and you have distro kids thirty dollar plan a year or whatever and you pay your thirty dollars for that year and then you could take the rest of that money if you release other albums now of course you gotta pay like your engineer your producer and you know everybody else involved with it but you could possibly take that fifty dollars and let's say you come out with a couple of albums. Let's say you come out with three albums. That's $150 right there that you can put into promotional needs other than paying, you know, to release the album uh, or to release a album over and over again. What do you guys think about TuneCore's change to their distribution? Go ahead, leave it in the comments. Let me know what you think. If you like this video, go ahead, hit the like button as well. Again, you can follow me on Instagram at d dot underscore major music as well as uh, same thing on TikTok and then on Twitter at d dot mme and uh, also producers. If you're looking to get on a major music lounge podcast, go ahead, hit me up on one of those social platforms. Looking to chat with other like producers that create content just like me here on YouTube as well as producers that may have placements, develop apps, also producers that are like sound designers for possibly some of these uh, music production companies like a Native Instruments and Akaya, for example. Definitely would love to have a conversation with you on the podcast. Also artists, you're welcome to the show as well. If you got a new project coming out, you wanna come on the podcast and discuss it, hit me up on one of these social platforms. And if you made it this far, Thank you for watching. Y'all have a blessed day.